right under this beautiful oak tree, we have a hen of the woods specimen that I was very happy to find. Hen of the woods is also known as Griffula frondosa. The Japanese name for this mushroom is mitake, which roughly translates to the dancing mushroom, as in one would be so ecstatic to find this mushroom that they would start dancing. Mitake can be found from late summer all the way through late fall. I tried to refrain myself from choosing a mushroom which I enjoy foraging the most. I look at it as, how are you going to pick which children of yours you love the most? It's just too multifaceted and complex to say. However, if you forced me to choose, I would definitely put this Griffola frondosa in my top 5 for several different reasons. They have an amazing combination of size, physical beauty, interesting ecological roles, enigmatic qualities, delicious flavor, a meaty-like texture, resistance to bug infestation, and many medicinal benefits to make them an absolute joy to find. The pores on the underside of the cap are always cream colored and the flesh is a palish cream all the way throughout. The color of the top of the cap can vary depending on the age and the amount of sunlight it has received prior to harvest, all the way from a whitish to tan to an olive gray or creamish brown color. So let's get to making this jerky. The first step in making the jerky is to bring the hen to a light boil. This is going to help clean the mushroom even more. It'll make it a little more tender and ensure that the hen is fully cooked. Now as far as adding the seasonings, as every good chef does, we just eyeball it most of the time. So here we add some lemon juice, followed by some pink Himalayan sea salt, depending on how salty you like your jerky. We tend to like ours very salty some coconut aminos, or feel free to use soy sauce in this case. Then add the oil of your choice. We like to use extra virgin olive oil here. When adding the oil, I find that less is best. You don't want your jerky overly oily. Then you're going to add some garlic powder, and if you're like me, you know there's no such thing as too much garlic. Up next, onion powder, of course followed by some black pepper. Then you're gonna wanna add your favorite all-purpose seasoning. As you can see in the video, our all-purpose seasoning's a little clumpy, but uh, that's okay, it'll all break down. And from the fungal kingdom, my favorite seasoning of all time, nutritional yeast, which will give your food a hint of a cheesy flavor. Once you have all of the ingredients and seasonings in your hen of the woods bowl to the proportions of your choosing, go ahead and stir it up evenly throughout all of the mushrooms so that each mushroom has an equal amount of flavor on it. Some of you may be able to make your jerky in the oven. I usually make my jerky in the food dehydrator which heats up to about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. It's just as simple as setting all of your seasoned hen of the woods on the food dehydrator, setting it and forgetting it. It usually takes my jerky for the hen of the woods about 12 hours to make. Although depending on your dehydrator situation, the time may vary. Now as you can see here, the jerky does shrink up a little bit, but a lot of it, at least 50% of it is missing due to us eating it before I was able to get this footage. Out of all the jerkies I've made over the years, I would say that Hen of the Woods turns out to be very similar to beef jerky or a traditional jerky. It's soft, chewy, and absolutely delicious. Just like jerky. It's crazy. Amazing. That's gonna wrap up this Hen of the Woods jerky video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next Mushroom Time.